After months of being home, it was finally time for me to go back to Miami for work and welcome to part one of my Miami vlog series that I put together for you guys to see what my life as a model really is. So yeah guys, my airplane broke down, flying to Miami, had a great panic attack, fainted, hit my head on the floor, then woke up, was talking to the nice uh, aircraft ladies and then I got off the plane and now I'm waiting on another flight. Turns out the plane was missing gas, a warning light went on, and they were still gonna take off, and I don't know what happened next, but I'll keep you posted. Yo, for real, just my luck, right? I already hate flying as it is, so I just buy some Cheetos, drink some Diet Coke to ease the anxiety that I get from flying. I'm just kidding, that's like the worst shit you can probably put in your body for that. But I was excited to just go to Miami. I had a lot of like content planned to shoot, a lot of vlogs to do. I thought I was gonna personally find Miami hot and sunny, but instead I literally flew into a hurricane. We're off to an amazing start, you guys. Hey guys, so I'm actually on the way to see my agency. I haven't seen them in... That's how long it's been since I've seen my agency. So I'm super excited to see them because I miss them very much. And I'm about to get them some treats because whenever we walk into our agency or the models at my agency, at least, we always like to show up with something. We don't like to show up empty handed. This guy just ran a red light. Cool. But yeah, driving in Miami is definitely an experience I wouldn't recommend. Uh, people don't really know how to drive here. I ended up getting my agency Dunkin' Donuts and I made my way on in, said hi to my bookers, did a little B-roll for you guys of the office. I also had to update my digitals because I haven't taken digitals for them in eight months. And digitals are basically just photos of the model, either in black jeans and a black tee or a bathing suit just to show off the shape of your body, natural makeup, um, natural hair, just so the client is able to see before he books you what you really look like. I just left my agency. I said hi to all my bookers. I haven't seen anybody in eight months. Like how crazy is that? Got new cards. Matt's photo is on my comp card. That's crazy. Wait, I wanna show you guys the front today. So yeah, I got my new comp cards, ready to go to castings. And right now I'm just gonna go home and eat something. Cause I'm hungry. And get some coffee. Like look how cute this little coffee is. Yo, I had a bunch of castings to run to. I thought I'm gonna have a test shoot, but it got canceled, thank goodness, because Matt is on his way to the airport in New York right now, and I'm sitting on the ground right now, packing up a suitcase filled with lingerie and bathing suits so we can get this show on the road. But, you know, I was so used to just doing nothing, not nothing, but I was just so used to, you know, being so chilled out for the past eight months and now I kind of forgot what it's like to go back to work and real life it's I wouldn't change it for the world but it's like my it's my first day back um, modeling and doing all the things that I'm always doing which is going to castings going to test shoots trying to you know check my email getting back to my bookers getting back to the photographers that I scheduled shoots with trying to plan everything out I mean guys it's really a lot and a lot of people think that models have it really easy, but it's quite the opposite. We get to go to all these castings. Sometimes at the end of the day, you don't book anything or end up with anything. And you come home and you're so tired and you still have to work out. And I mean, sometimes you don't even have time to eat because you're being, you're being pulled in so many different directions. So... I just hate the fact that a lot of people are like, oh, you're a model, you have it so easy, you just get to dress up and put makeup on and stuff like that. Sure, that's that's like one part of it, but there is so much more and a lot of hard work that goes into this. Like, especially if you're a model and you're trying to do more and you're trying to schedule your own test shoots and talk to other photographers. I mean, you guys, if, if there's a model watching this, like, please comment down below and tell me your experiences because I would love to hear other models experiences but if it wasn't for me getting a degree in finance and economics and learning how to trade I don't think I would be doing what I'm doing right now because I have to put a lot of my money in like I think by now I would just be breaking even so this is another thing like oh like models make so much money yeah if we book a job but do you know how hard it is to book a job 
So a lot of us get second jobs and a lot of girls either do bartending or waitressing or you know anything that pays the bills and the job has to be flexible because if it's not flexible, it's really hard to you know go to castings, do the photo shoots, work the job if you book it. So I'm not complaining by all means. It's tough, you know, it's really overwhelming and I'm sure a lot of girls feel this way, but at the end of the day, I love doing what I do and I wouldn't change it for the world. I just wanted to share my thoughts and my insight on my career, especially today since it was extremely stressful for me. It was an extremely stressful day for me. You get to really see, you know, like, look at me. <laughs> um, you know, and especially like my family, they're just like, oh, she's just chilling in Miami, not doing anything, like blah, blah, blah. They have no idea how hard I work to get to where I want to be and it's a lot easier having a five, like an, it's a lot easier having a nine to five than working for yourself because you make your own paycheck, but you also have to make sure that you book that paycheck. Um, so it's definitely hard, but at the end of the day, I, I love doing what I do. So I'm just going to stick to it. All right, let's go pick up Matt at the airport. I finally made it from New York. Was it trash bucket? No, that's my bathing suit bag. How dare you insult my bathing suits? It was really uh, a lady next to me like, with the rosary beads. I was like, of course, every time I come to Florida, there's always a lady next to me who's upset and scared. That's like me. But, um... You here! Back in Miami. So over the course of two months, Matt ended up coming down to Miami every single weekend and we were shooting content submissions editorials vlogs and a bunch of other fun stuff for you guys i will be putting out those vlogs right after i drop this one i just wanted to make like a little intro to everything so you're not just like what is this random stuff lena so yeah you guys i came to the beach with no beach towel because who needs a beach towel and you can just roll around in the sand oiled up you know that's like a new thing that i'm trying out you know free body scrub Sweat stash, anyone? Cool. And when Matt wasn't in Miami, I was working on test shoots for my book and other collaborations with photographers. One of my favorites was Gonzalo Feo, who is right here. Look at him, he's so adorable. The first shoot that we ended up doing was in extreme conditions when it was so windy that um, we had to actually leave the beach because we were getting cut by the sand. Right, so we just wrapped up shooting. This is Gonzalo. Hi, everyone. And we'll see you guys later. In between all the test shoots, collaborations, and everything else that I was doing with my life, I ended up booking a job, which was super helpful for me. And I personally love working on set because I get to meet new people and potential friends. And also the snacks and the food that's on set is always great. So, like, hello, free food. I love food. I love eating. And that's probably why I'm always on a diet. We had to be here at 6 45 and literally it's my friend cynthia hey guys wow you look so this pretty is, is look at her and look at me i'm just meant to just <laughs> i can't see what i mean cool peoples but anyways the next day was time for another test shoot however it just didn't go as planned at all so we tried to do a photo shoot but as you guys can see behind me there's a storm coming and it actually just started raining so i don't even know why i'm vlogging it's freaking yeah, the weather wasn't exactly on my side for about a week, week and a half until Matt decided to start coming down to Florida. So all the next vlogs are pretty sunny. But yeah, I can't wait to share the rest of my journey in Miami with you guys. So stay tuned. You guys want to see what I'm doing with my Friday night? 